Hey, welcome back to another video, guys. I'm super excited to be able to just talk to you guys about some BRM5 news. It's always exciting seeing these videos come out, and it sounds like they are obviously having more progress, as is to be expected, but they're letting us see a little bit more. It sounds like we're going to have to be patient for still what is going to be a decent bit more time, but I don't know exactly how much. We'll see. The first couple messages, I just want to go over with you guys, and I kind of screenshot it everywhere where there's a text explaining things that were done, so... Uh, before we get into the first like paragraph, let's just give y'all a summary. So the things that we are going to be seeing, uh, just giving you the titles of the text. It's going to be breaching, more breaching animations and things you can do for doors. There's going to be lock picking, kind of goes along with that. There's going to be a detection meter for AI. There's going to be a raid bar for whatever bases you're going at in open world and how much progress you have in taking out those enemies. There's going to be a CQB, which means Close Quarters Battles um, system, which basically allows you to like move your gun up and down and around your screen, uh, just configure it more so you're not like aiming at the back of your teammate's head. Uh, then we got, let's see, vaulting. So it's like an animation to jump over certain walls and things like that so it doesn't look as clunky. We got fixed turrets, and that's basically just around the bases you'll find, you know, turrets sitting there you can use and then we got enemy types so different types of enemy types that will come in different waves that you'll be able to encounter okay and one other random thing that I, I think should be here fix the ladders maybe that's something that's already been done but if we could just have like an animation to go up and down the ladders so we're not like walking up and down them I think that'd be good but I don't know that's just me that's just a random thought let's get into the first longer paragraph so this is a message from NAR it says this will be the last tech demo for Gen 4. There's still a lot we want to keep as a surprise for the release, but for now, enjoy this breakdown of some of the open world mechanics. We're getting a closer release, or we're getting closer to release, but there's still many features we are perfecting. Your continued patience is much appreciated. So your continued patience is much appreciated makes me think, oh, we still got a minute. Sadly, but, you know, if it's good, and it uh, meets expectations, which is always a challenge to do with how much hype builds for the amount of time. Uh, well, if it does meet that, then whatever. I am fine with that because this game has a lot of potential, and I think there's a lot they could do with this. Especially every time they get a new gen out like this, I know it's easier to update everything else after that. So hopefully that they, they reach a certain point where it's like they're comfortable at and they're able to pump out more updates that way following. But it always seems like we are tempted to think that is the next step. So who knows? Maybe Gen 5 will take another year. But I don't know, man. We'll see. And then the disclaimer is just saying that there's going to be a bunch of gameplay shown and that some things have already gotten better since the video our recordings. And, you know, there's still more to come. Just a preview. And then they get right into breaching. And basically there's like a pretty cool animation for like kicking the door down and I don't know if there's anything for partially opening the door. I wasn't able to see that, but that used to be in the game, actually. But yeah, there's like a kick into the door down animation type thing, and everything looks much better, like, tactically-wise with the different stuff you could do. You could have a lot more freedom with cinematics and faction stuff looking good. Just with the gun movements, plus the breaching and all that, there's also the lock picking that pretty much goes right with that. I briefly talked about it earlier in the summary as I did all these things, but it's just a system... Or it's like a mini uh, reaction time thing going back and forth. You get through and you get to keep going. I hope that they make it almost more challenging on some of these. But uh, we'll see. And then we got a detection meter. So there was already a sort of system in the game for like getting detected. You just couldn't see it. Um, or any, any process for how, how close they are to actually discovering you. I know it's already set up right now. If you crouch behind enemies, guys... That actually makes it to where they don't detect you. So, I don't know if you guys know, there is kind of already some stealth in place like that. But yeah, so you'll be able to kind of see that uh, working out with the meters. Even when they're really far away, you can see sometimes uh, gameplay in the video where they're, they're a good distance, but they'll spot you. Uh, I, I will say one thing on this detection meter. The noise every time the thing popped up was kind of loud and obnoxious. Oh, man, I just messed that word up. Ag agno Abnoxious. I don't know. I'm blanking on how to say that word exactly, but y'all know what I'm talking about. It was just kind of uh, too loud. <laughs> and 
distracting in my opinion. I feel like it really stood out. Uh, because it, it would happen so often that some of them, you know, some random AI would start detecting you, like turning corners, and there's like one here, one there, one there. So maybe turn that noise down a little bit. Something, something a little more subtle. Uh, there's the raid bar, so it just shows your progress at the top. Not much to comment on there. I do think that's cool though, because uh, it's always annoying. Like, did I kill that last guy? Like, if you're at village, although we're, you know, we're seeing new map stuff now, so. Maybe we won't have to worry about Village anymore. I don't know if we're going to get to keep the old Ronograd or if everything's changing. I'm not sure exactly the details on all that. Um, but obviously we are getting a lot of new open world map content, as we see in this video. Which, the stuff looked pretty good. It wasn't, like, amazing in my opinion. But it was cool, for sure. And a uh, new land like that is always, always fun. We got the CQB. So, close quarters battles system basically just that thing i talked about earlier with being able to move your gun around that's going to be cool for cinematics making things look more tactical uh, for those of you that enjoy that making things look overall just more smooth gameplay uh feature aspects like that are always going to take the game just that one quality step up so i'm happy for that just little changes like that they are definitely good vaulting nothing crazy there i'm curious to see if that's going to be glitchy at all and like what allows you to have the animation and jump over or whatever, but yeah. Fixed turrets. Uh, I think that that's a good addition. Find some of those around. I uh, think it'd be cool for, for PvP stuff, for sure. I don't know if it's infinite ammo, but I saw they did a reload. They were at the one spot. It definitely takes a minute on the reload, as would as it should. That makes sense. But that'll be like helpful for defending stuff. And then the last thing was the enemy type, saying that the enemies will come in basically various types of enemies and it sounds like they'll kind of come in, in packs that work well together and uh, there'll be a bunch of different types of groups so maybe it won't be as repetitive in what you see a lot of the bases right now it's like you're gonna see the same waves but this time it'll it'll be more randomized hopefully it sounds like which is always good I hope they have different paths too that's a big deal so you can't just see like right now you can predict where they're gonna come from half the time there's like three paths on every base but if that varies more too, be a big deal. In general, uh, talking about enemies, I just hope it's more difficult. I I only really did enjoy. There was like one time when a uh, resurgence came out where I swear like the the enemies were more difficult for like a certain time. They're glitched to like do more damage or something, and it was actually like the most fun I'd had in, in BRM five in a while because it was like a challenge to beat Alchara. I swear I was, like, not the only one seeing it. The devs were kind of saying they didn't think anything happened. But everyone kind of noticed there was there was one time where AI just happened to be a little bit more difficult with however things were set up. Uh, whether or not that was true, maybe I was just sucking that day. In general, if the difficulty could go up, it's tough because, you know, for the newer players, you don't want them to struggle. But at the same time, I feel like the game's just more fun when it's a struggle to get good at. And, like, even when you're a little bit more experienced... Man, it's just fun when you can't solo a base, you know? I shouldn't be able to fight um, a whole compound on my own. You know, maybe I'm not the best. Sometimes I still do be dying. That's just because I'm maybe not locked in trying my hardest. But I want it to be more realistic. Like, it can't be fully, like, one type would pretty much knock you out as it almost gets to be in real life. But, like, just, you know, I want it to be a little bit more difficult beating those AI. That makes it so much more fun when it's a challenge. There's really one, only one quest right now, like one thing in open world that's like a real challenge. It's that bunker. That bunker quest where you gotta go all the way down in those tunnels down the stairs and come back up. That's pretty fun. I'll link down below a video where I uh, went through there. So I did enjoy that. If you haven't found that quest yet, you should definitely try to do that. There might be more information in that video on how to get it. Sorry if there's not. I'm not sure. I like which guy provides it or whatever. Anyway, if you haven't seen this video for the tech demo, definitely go watch that. I'm going to be putting that in the description too. Go like it and, um, you know, have that be spread around more because this is some cool stuff. The game should definitely get that recognition. I hope it does good when it comes out and uh, it's good, good reception if it is good like that. That's pretty much all I have to say this time around. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Let me know uh, anything I missed, insight y'all have, and just what you're looking for, you know? I'd be curious to hear all that. You guys have a good rest of your day. Thank you for listening.